Tom <laughs> Peterson has stopped by this evening. Tom, how you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, you were formerly the head of NVIDIA's tech marketing department. Now you're just an engineer? Just a regular old engineer, yeah. I'm a distinguished engineer. I don't think engineer. it's just an engineer. I am. I distinguished am. engineer is a pretty cool title to well, have. I feel old. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your 30s will yeah, be fun. Yeah, yeah. The 30s are great, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're here to kind of show us something cool. Now, we all, anyone who watched earlier during the Maxwell launch was uh, treated to some very mm -hmm. amazing graphics and, and explanation. Amazing. Uh, including what I think we have up here, the Cornell box. Yeah. Uh, with the balls in it. And yep. that was very interesting. Can you kind of tell us what we were looking at there earlier? Yeah. For those of us who didn't see the, uh, the press conference. Absolutely. So um, the Cornell box is, is actually an old sort of standard image from graphics. And it was invented in 1984 by a bunch of researchers, surprisingly, at Cornell. And what they're trying to figure out is how can we tell if we're doing the right thing in graphics? So mm -hmm. they, they built something so simple that they could take a picture of it and then they could compare it directly to the graphics that they generated on their computer. So it's sort of this easy test to tell if you're doing a good job. Like when you were little and you played the game, one of these things, pick out the things that are different. That is exactly right. <laughs> and you know what's funny I is that we, we do exactly hmm. that with this box. We use it to sort of tell how good are we doing simulating this environment. Okay. And the, the thing that's complicated about it is this is all about light. And light is actually one of those things in graphics that's been a problem forever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very complex problem. So what I'm going to try to do here in 15 minutes or so, maybe a little longer, is uh, explain what the problem is, how we deal with it in graphics today, and what we've improved with VXGI. VXGI is a, a breakthrough technology that allows us to do a much better job simulating light in real time on the GPU. And I'm going to hopefully explain it all in about 15 minutes. <laughs> well, the clock is the ticking, clock is my right. Are you okay. ready? All right. So before I go up to the to this thing, now this, okay. by the way, Jace, great job on this thing, if it works. Okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm right. counting on you. Um, this isn't live or anything. No, no. So here's the thing. Who's like, Jace? I'm sorry. Jace is uh, the man. Oh, yeah. hi, buddy. How are yeah. you? He is the man. Yeah. So the way, the, um, the way light works, I'll tell you what, I'll do it on the board. Come on okay? up, my Here friend. we go. This is what this, I'm talking get about. This, this is the moment, okay? <laughs> People pay good money to go okay. to college. So, for this first kind of, of all, stuff, so. we're going to click on the Epic Pen, which is a great program, okay. and I'm going to go into a mode that allows me to write on this thing, okay? So, I'm going to start off with white. Okay, now what's happening is this is a scene that's uh, actually being rendered in real time, but it, it gets you a sense, right? There's a light up here, mm -hmm. and what's happening is it's casting white light, right? Okay. And there's white light coming down and hitting the wall. There's white light coming down and hitting the ball. You can see how white light is basically coming around all over the place. And what happens is it bounces, and it should hit that ball, right? You know that the, the walls are not going to stay red. There's going to be a yeah. little red glow here, and there's going to be, like on the other side, there's going to be a little bounce of green that should light this wall. But in computer graphics, that's incredibly hard. Because if you think about it, this problem explodes. You have light coming down, and you're going to directly light everything. That's a pretty easy calculation. As a matter of fact, let me show you what that would look like. I think I can just hit, click on this, click on this, and hit one. Ooh, one. <laughs> this is direct light, okay? okay? So what's happening is you see there's something missing. There's actually uh, right here, let's see if I can get this working, okay? I'm going to use green. So right there, there should be a reflection, but mm -hmm. there's not. And the reason there's no reflection here either is because it would be take forever to calculate all this light bouncing around. So we've invented a technology to make it simple and easy to calculate. And it's based on a real simple idea, and I think I can illustrate it. Okay, so we've invented this thing called voxels. Oops. Voxels. Now, what is a voxel? It's a simplification of the geometry. Remember, there's two balls here. So what we're doing is we're creating cubes around those balls. And the cubes are bigger than pixels. And the idea is that we can use these cubes to kind of calculate what would have happened on a very coarse geometry. So the way to think about it is, remember, this is a, a measure of opacity. It's, it's going to be what blocks light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there's another view, which is what's going to reflect light. So this is those same voxels, only what we're doing in this phase is we're actually illuminating them with basic light. So let's go ahead and get this thing on white. So the white light is coming down here, and it's coming down here. It's coming over here. And the reason these voxels, this is a voxel view, the reason they're colored is because they're being illuminated by direct light. It's very easy for us to calculate that. So but do you have to do yeah. the cubes, though, so that way it's a flat surface that the light is bouncing off of instead of it being spherical? Um, we're doing cubes to 
simplify the number of things we look at. So if you think about this original diagram, it was all a lot of pixels. Yeah. And pixels are tiny. These are just big pixels, right? And, and we're using that to simplify effectively the calculation. But here you go, look at the white light. This is called direct light, right? It comes down and hits something directly. But what we're doing is we're calculating how bright would this wall be illuminated. And in the next phase, we're gonna use that and we're gonna treat all of these little pixels like they're tiny little LEDs. And so we're gonna calculate direct light using these uh, newly created sort of fake lights. So if you think about it, to calculate a uh, reflection, to calculate a bounce, what you really need to do is first light the scene and then figure out of what got hit by light, mm -hmm. how is it going to kind of illuminate its neighbors. So there's a really cool thing we can do is show you how that would be affected. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And I'm gonna say, okay, what I wanna do is turn on the light model. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, so what I can do in this thing is very cool. I can actually change the position of the light. Oh. So if you look at the, what's happening, I'm changing the angle that the light happens, and it's changing the way the voxels look, and it's changing the way the side is lit. Mm -hmm. And what's actually happening is we're really figuring that there's going to be a different set of things that got lit, so they're going to generate light differently when we calculate the next bounce. Okay? Wow. So that's what's going on. It's a, very, it's a very easy idea. We're taking the direct lights, and we're illuminating voxels and we're calculating the exact color that that voxel should be transmitting. And it's based on the color, the shape, and the, the light that hit it. But basically, it's a, it's a calculation of if this, if this is going to reflect what color. Okay, so after we do this, the next step is pretty simple. We are going to, let me turn that off, we're going to calculate the next bounce. So what you're showing here now, it's a little bit complex, but imagine, remember how I said that we're going to start off with a, a direct light. And you remember, this wall was red. Mm -hmm. So what it's going to be doing in this stage is illuminating red light that direction. And red light's coming off of this wall. So you can see this little red glow is coming from the fact that there was a wall of red voxels here. And we're just calculating basically direct light. Yep. Now the other side, let's see if I can get that to work. There's green light. So green light's coming off of this wall. And it's coming onto this ball. And it's hitting that floor. So you can see right away, if I kind of clear all this stuff, come back to the example, I'm going to do a little rotation. So let me click that. There we go. <laughs> so what we're showing you is like on this side, okay. there's generally a red glow. Mm -hmm. And on this side, there's generally a green glow. And that, again, is coming from that second bounce. So I hope you can kind of get a sense. We're calculating really how directly lit things can generate their own light to make the scene look more realistic. Okay, so the last part of this, let me come back here, come back to the original view, and whoops, we did, we did write the direct light. Mm -hmm. We did voxels. These are the shapes that we're going to illuminate. Then I showed you how those shapes are going to get lit. And then we showed you what the what the light is cast from those shapes. And lastly, how do you put it all back together? You get this. There you go. So what you're looking at here again is, you know, from the top. It's direct light coming from this light, hits the wall. But now, instead of just looking fake and junky, using VXGI technology, mm -hmm. we've got that nice little emitted red light, right? And then over here on the other side, we've got, hopefully, some <laughs> green light coming in over here, right? By the way, Jace, this is working, buddy. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Good job. All right, so uh, that's really what, what we're doing. We call it VXGI, and it's a simplification Wow. Of, of calculating light, and it makes it possible for us to do this in real time. So now you can imagine, I'll just show a couple of the highlights of what you're looking at. So down here, there's a couple things that are really hard to do in graphics. One thing is called uh, getting good shadows, or occlusion, yeah. or ambient occlusion. Look at how these, these shadows are kind of red. That's, that's light coming from the wall illuminating underneath the ball. And then you can see how under here it's a little bit green. And if you really look closely right in this area, you can see there's actually a reflection of this ball in that oh, ball, yeah. mm -hmm. right? That stuff is just stupid hard to do <laughs> in real time and make it look great. And so that's what, uh, that's what we're doing. We're, 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 we're kind of craftsmen, and we're obsessed with making imagery look incredible. And this is a giant leap forward for you know, how light's going to be calculated in the future. So all the video game guys that are in here, um, come talk to us about VXGI. 
<laughs> it's, uh, it's amazing, and it's going to change the way we see games. All of the gamers are thanking you for this. <laughs> how, how do you guys come up with the things that you're going to work on next? Like, wow. What happens in the meeting room where you're, you're looking at the graphics and you're saying, this is something that's missing, this is what we want to work on for the next step? Wow, that's a tough question. I, I think it's a blend of things. Um, a lot of the time, our engineers are just, they're cranking away, right? And they're thinking technical things, and they're just inventing crazy stuff. How can we simulate light? That doesn't come from you know, market guys that are looking at the market and saying, what do you need? Or, this is more like, hey, what can we do to make pictures amazing? Mm -hmm. So it's sort of a bottoms up kind of invention, um, organically uh, arriving. But then there's other stuff where we're out looking at the market and uh, we're realizing there's a gap or there's a need. And then that's more like, hey, if we could do this, it would be great. You guys go think about it. So there's kind of both tensions. And of course, we have the advantage of uh, having Jensen. And Jensen <laughs> yeah. is, uh, you know, he's, he, he figures out a lot of this stuff. Well, so. and that's one of the best things when you watch a good TV show or play a good game or watch a great movie. It's the stuff that you don't notice. That's what makes it look so amazing. Yeah. So now being able to pick something out like this, like how light cascades off of different things, and you say, okay, yeah. this is the next step for gaming. Yeah, when you look at a, a game after seeing how light should look, Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a picture and you look at a game, you realize there's a lot of tricks going on. And occasionally that illusion of the tricks kind of breaks down. The game looks a little fake and it pops you out of, of that aversion that we're mm -hmm. all kind of looking for. So for us, it's, it's just this continual process of making the technology a little bit better, a little bit more compelling, so that um, our partners making games can create amazing experiences. Voxels. Voxels. <laughs> like, Sounds uh, like a cereal. You know what? I, I like to think about it. Uh, Yuri, who's one of our guys, a genius guy, uh, he said what the technical term for voxel is, but I ignore that. <laughs> the way I think about it is it's a volume pixel. Yeah. Right? So pixels, you know, are, are not, they're kind of like segmenting up uh, an image in two dimensions. Voxels are segmenting space up in three dimensions. And we're using that sort of coarse grain approximation uh, to create a lighting surface that we can kind of bounce light off of. 